So Sherry, you are the organizer of Babecon. That's correct. Yes. So can you please summarize the history of Babecon in less than 20 seconds? Okay, cool. Um, so obviously it started from passion for vaping um, and the community surrounding it. We started with smaller vape meets and pubs and everything. Our first big Babecon in Hard Falls Arena was held in 2015. Mm. And it's grown since there. I mean, we've got... It's about 40 international vendors this year. Yeah. yeah. So, so you mentioned international vendors. There's a lot of people from China. How, how did they end up? Because they're not Chinese South Africans, like they're straight from China. That's correct. So why is there so many of them today? Um, look, it's, it's mainly the big manufacturers of the devices themselves. They come in, they want to grow their business in different markets, obviously. And okay. And then, this is a bit controversial, but uh, do you think that vaping is harmless, completely harmless, or can it harm your body? Look, nothing is as harmless as breathing clean air. Yeah, okay. But at the end of the day, it's been proven to be 95% safer than smoking. So it's all about harm reduction. Oh, okay. Versus being completely harmless. Oh, okay. So do these things come with like a warning sign? Yeah. Warning label? Yes, they do. Oh, what does the warning label say? Um, pretty much the same as cigarettes. Don't vape if you're pregnant. Uh, yeah. Does it cause cancer, stuff like that? No. No, okay, because there was this big thing, like, remember when cigarettes came out in the 20s, doctors were recommending it. Yeah. And then the big cigarette manufacturers were paying doctors to recommend it. It wasn't like until 20 years later when the effects of cigarettes came through. I mean, so look, obviously, yeah. I myself have been vaping since... Since I was like 12, 13, 14. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's been Okay, yeah, let's talk about legislation. Um, yes. with, with, because I heard like now they're introducing new laws with cigarettes. Like now they don't want the packaging of cigarettes to yeah. have labels. So, What's up with that law? That you'll have to ask the governments about. They have just implemented quite a hefty tax on paper. Um, so it's 2 rand 90 per milliliter on liquids and like your disposable what? devices. So it's going to increase the price? It has, yes. So what a lot of the local shops have done, we got a warning that the tax was coming 1st of June. Uh -huh. So what a lot of local guys did, they stopped up pre-1st June oh, okay. to try and avoid the tax for as long as possible. But it is, it has been implemented, it is there. Prices are going to start slowly increasing, unfortunately. Uh -huh. Okay, I mean, so kids, would you recommend kids? It's for under, not under 18 no, under at 18. all? Yeah, and then what can we look forward to um, going forward in the future? You know? what, what surprises does Vip Um, Sure, look, I mean, the industry is changing year by year, so it's very hard to predict. Um, with the disposable market coming in, we see more and more disposals coming into the market that are just getting better and better. Uh -huh. um, Vapecon is moving towards more of a trade show versus a, a public show. Uh -huh. Because vaping has become a lot more commercial than it used to be. Uh -huh. In the old days, it was very much a community-driven niche product that you know not everybody did, but it was more enthusiastic. Mm -hmm. Now it's more of Mrs. Jane down the road <laughs> and her vape, you know. Okay. So these things are very hard to predict, but we're just going to keep going and moving from strength to strength. Okay. Why me?